gives your God power get everything you ever wanted and live the life of your dreams. The Master's Course. Copyright 2010 by Richard Lee McKim Jr. All rights reserved. Let the quest for knowing begin. This explanation is continued from the prior segment. For best results, watch the prior segment, number 65, first. But if they were to say to themselves, or really understand, especially after reading this book, that just because you have no eyes, doesn't mean you don't have a seeing function. You still have a seeing function. You always did. You always will. Now, you could actually see from the same place as your eyes, whether you have eyes or not. You could have glass eyes, and you could still see just as well as anybody else. If you thought you could, if you knew you could, if you realized you could. If you have some kind of an impairment in your brain, be it uh, Alzheimer's or a brain injury or whatever, if you realize that your thinking is not going on in your brain and instead you started thinking and realizing that you're thinking from a mind that's in a different location that's not the brain you could have every bit of your functionality as you always did regardless of what the representations condition is because it doesn't matter those people that see from the fingertips the conditions of their eyes have nothing to do with their vision have nothing to do with their ability to see. Nothing. So, getting back to this illustration, the fact that scientists have found <laughs> things here, I mean, them finding thinking functions in the brain in those different locations is no different than somebody saying, hey, you know, it's an interesting thing, but I've discovered that when I open my eyes, I see. I've discovered that there's a seeing function right here on the front of my face. And I've discovered that on the sides of my head, I have a hearing function. That when I put my hands over it, I don't hear as well, so my hearing must be here. My seeing must be up here. My smelling must be here on my nose. My tasting must be in my mouth. Discovering those sources of the senses is no different than discovering the sources of, uh, discovering the locations of thinking. The representations of thinking are no different than the representations of seeing and hearing and tasting and touching and smelling. We know that somebody can taste what somebody else is, is in somebody else's mouth. So thinking, the bottom line is, discovering these things in the brain means nothing. They could discover everybody's got eyes and they see from their eyes, but it doesn't mean that that's the only place you can see from. How do you explain Ingo Swan taking a look at Jupiter? Explain that seeing function. Yeah, that's what I thought. Explain the optic nerve connection to the fingertip for uh, that Russian woman who could read with her fingertips. They tested her. She could read with her fingers through a heated sheet of glass because they were thinking, well, it must be some kind of a, a heat transfer thing. The letters must be giving off some sort of heat that she can some kind of read something like Braille. So they said, okay. And they thought maybe colors would uh, would affect it. Maybe different colors had different heat signatures. And somehow she was using her fingers as some sort of heat sensor. It was able to detect that. So they put a sheet of heated glass over a black and white newspaper so there was no color. And the glass was heated. So there's no way that her fingers could distinguish any heat variances from the black and white print. And still, she was able to read that black and white print on the other side of a sheet of heated glass with her fingers because her fingers were behaving in a visual way. So, explain how the optic nerve 
and how the lenses are in the tips of your fingers. Yeah, that's what I thought. Because the seeing is not a physical property. It's an it's a energy property. The functionality is an energy property in the energy realm. It just so happens it's synchronized with our eyes for a very realistic experience. And you know what? It's great. It's great. But what I'm trying to tell you is I want you to get the thinking and all these functions that they've discovered in the brain are not in the brain. The brain is not doing anything. Think of the brain as like a, a panel on a giant computer. You know how you see these movies where they go up and they look at this big panel of all these uh, monitors and little indicator lights and all that kind of thing? Now, when that indicator light is going up and showing that something's overheating, is the indicator light itself overheating? No. It's representing something that's somewhere else. So when you look in the brain and you see all this activity, all that activity is just represented lights, just little meters, little things going on that are representing things. But they're not there. They don't exist there. They don't function there. So if something's happened to your brain, nothing's happened to you unless you think it has. Then it has. And by the same token, nothing could be wrong with your brain. And if you think there is, then there is. It's all in your beliefs and meanings. So Bottom line on this illustration is just because they've discovered these places in the brain that do these kinds of things doesn't mean that those places in the brains are the source of those kinds of functions. They're not. They only represent there. Okay, let's continue. When I make the comparisons between the radio's representative dial and the brain's representations, people point out that it is easy to see the connection between the radio tuning knob and the dial and the tuner itself. After all, there is a string that leads right to the actual tuner. That is so, but it's still the same, only our links between our representations and their actual, real, functioning place are invisible. That is the main difference between the radio's beliefs and meanings, links, and relationships and ours is that we can see the radio's links and even touch them. However, the relationships, links, and associations between our physical representations and their real functioning form are invisible to us. We know that they're there, but we cannot see them or touch them. They only exist in thought form and not in physical form like the radio. To continue, go to How to Use Your God Power, Chapter Number 10, Segment Number 67. Let your quest for knowing continue.